All right, everybody, welcome back. Bearded Drums here, your personal drum nerd. So recently, I did an episode where I covered three of the most common ways drummers can film themselves if they wanted to make videos. And one of the options that we talked about was using a GoPro. Now, I had only just gotten the GoPro. I had basically just learned how to turn it on and record. I did really have the settings down. And in comparison to the cell phone and the camera that we used, it probably had the worst audio and it didn't have that great of a picture. Well, in that episode, I told you that when I got to a point where I could improve the picture of the GoPro and improve the audio, I would pull an update video out. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. So in the previous episode where I talked about the three common ways you can film yourself, and if you haven't seen that episode, you can click right up here to view it. The GoPro probably fell the farthest behind as far as the audio, and that was only because I did not have the proprietary audio adapter. It was on order. Well, now it's here. I have the little GoPro adapter, so we're going to hook that up today and see if we can improve the audio that we can get while using the GoPro in conjunction with my Rode Video Micro. Also in that episode, I did not really know about the settings for the GoPro. I had just gotten it and I did not color correct any of the footage. So now I've been using the GoPro a lot since I got it. I've got the settings dialed in and I'm actually going to go through and color correct some of the footage we do today so we can improve the picture and improve the audio as well. So let's jump over to the GoPro and I'll show you the setup for that. I actually got myself a nice little aluminum case for the GoPro. It's got a mount on the top that I can use to put the video micro on top of that. I've added a little base plate with some 3M dual lock in which I'll attach the audio adapter so the whole setup is nice and clean, nice as compact as I can make it. All right, so here is the rig and I got the idea to do this from a YouTube video and I'll actually put the link in the description below if you're interested in building up your GoPro rig like this one so you can get some upgraded audio. And basically this rig consists of four parts. On top we have the Rode Video Micro which allows me to get a lot better audio than is coming from inside the GoPro itself. Now below that we have the aluminum cage for the GoPro. Not only does this provide better protection for the GoPro in case I drop it, but it also allows me to mount the Rode Video Micro on top of that. Now just below the aluminum cage for the GoPro, we have this little base plate or what's called a cheese plate. And this allows me to attach the cage to the top of that but it also allows me the ability to connect this to a tripod or an extension arm so I can basically mount it anywhere. And on the back of the cheese plate, you can see the fourth part, which is the GoPro audio adapter, is mounted to the back of that via some 3M dual lock. And then you basically have two cables, the one that comes out of the audio adapter into the side of the GoPro. And on the other side, you can see there is the audio cable that comes from the mic to the audio adapter. And I really like this setup, even though it did require some extra investment on my part. But now I have a little setup that I can throw up anywhere. That's one thing I really love about the GoPro. Without having to run a bunch of mics, I can get some great audio paired with some great video. I can mount it just about anywhere, hit record, and it's ready to go. So the first thing you're going to see is the GoPro setup and we'll be using the internal mics. So you'll hear what the GoPro sounds by itself. Now I will correct the footage as far as the color so it will look better, but the sound will be lacking. All right, so this is the GoPro with the internal mics, and notice with the case on it, it does kind of sound muffled, even though the total sound of the drums is not terrible. And a 
especially every time I hit the right side crash, it instantly overdrives the mic and sounds terrible. Okay, so now there is the GoPro with the internal audio. Now obviously it looks better than last time. I've gone in, I've color corrected the footage. It looks pretty good and it really doesn't sound that bad, but we can make it sound better. So now we'll go back to the GoPro again. The footage will be color corrected again, but this time we'll be using the Rode Video Micro and we should have way better results as far as the audio. Now as far as the settings inside of the GoPro, I always run it at 2.7K. I always record at 30 frames per second. I usually let the GoPro do the rest in auto as far as the white balance and shutter speed. And as far as the audio setting, it does have many options when you hook in this audio adapter. I'm just using the standard setting. It does have some plus settings, which adds 20 dB, but for the purposes of the road, we're just gonna go with the standard setting. <laughs> All right, and now we have the GoPro with the Rode video mic attached. Notice how everything sounds very open and clear. And especially take notice of every time I hit the right side crash, it doesn't instantly overdrive the microphone. All right, and there you have it. The footage looks a lot better. I've dialed in the settings on the GoPro and I've color corrected the footage. So we've got a great picture coming through and the audio is considerably better. I really like the way the Rode Video Micro sounds. Even though it's pretty much designed for vlogging and voice recording, it actually records the drums very well and I'm very pleased with it. So now you can see that you can step up the audio game on a GoPro and make the picture look better with just a couple of small investments. I really love the GoPro. It's very easy to use. I love that I can just throw it up, hit record. Now I can get great audio. And now that I've learned to play with the settings, I can get an even better picture. So just a little update, but I hope you found it helpful, especially if you're a GoPro user. Hopefully this helped you out if you were having problems with your audio. So remember, if you want to stay up to date on the latest drum gear, pick up little tips and tricks, and look at little filming products like we did today, consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, hope everyone has a great week, and I'll see you on the next one.